Hello everyone, I'm Lin Si Tong. I'm a mandol pop singer-songwriter and a music producer. So I have released two albums since 2012 and a handful of singles on digital platforms as well. I'm also a music instructor. I teach singing, keyboard, guitar, ukulele, lots of instruments and songwriting, lyrics writing as well. I write for television dramas as well. I've been doing it for about 11 years. So every year, about one to two dramas will be written by me. I started playing piano since three years old. <laughs> so at that period of time, my, my mom will actually sit with me at the piano with a cane. So, <laughs> yes, a <okay>. cane. <laughs> so I was actually forced to learn piano. Yeah, so after every exam I, that I go for, I will actually tear away the cert. And, but until now, my mom still doesn't know about it. <laughs> But as I, as I grow older, I realise that actually I do love music. So in secondary school, I will actually... Okay, my parents were actually very strict. So we were not allowed to go out. We don't have toys at home to play. All we do is study. So I tried to find my own entertainment at home. So I actually bought a computer mic and started recording cover songs. <laughs> so there was a period of time, I would do it every day until I got sick of it. Then after that, I would take English songs, those popular ones, and I'll start writing Chinese lyrics to it. <laughs> so I think that was how it started off my music journey. And so when, when I was 18, I told my dad, I said, I want to take on professional singing lessons. So he, he actually enrolled me to a school and it actually opened up my music career road. Yeah, so I get opportunities to actually play keyboard for local singer-songwriters also, like Cha Ban Shen and Take Away. Then after that, I sang backup vocals for Guo Mei Mei, Zhou Hua Jian. After that, I was thinking like, should I make this a career? Since, I mean, I enjoy it. Even though I was studying uni and I was studying something that's not related to music at all. I was in banking and finance. I was actually offered a teaching job at the last year of my uni. So I took on the job. After I graduated, I decided to just carry on with the job. And so I've been teaching for 14 years now. Mmm, definitely tiring. I only have two kids currently. <laughs> Basically, my kids, are, the age gap is quite far apart. So I still have some time for myself because my older son, he's actually in school already. So I can only do my music when my daughter is sleeping. That leaves three to four hours a day. So I had to chop chop. Before that, I was actually like doing music every day, like 24, seven. I think that's the difference lah. Now with kids, I have to learn how to prioritize things. So it's not say every single day you have to prioritize family over career. It's like you can choose, but make sure you get the help you need. I wouldn't say change because originally I was already writing like cutesy songs. Now my son is five years old. I would seriously like to help him like with his work and stuff like that. Sometimes I will wonder if, if songs actually do help him. So I want to compose songs to help him to remember things. Basically my son wrote his first song this year and the song title is Chicken Wing. I don't know why he wrote about Chicken Wing but the song goes like that. Chicken wing, chicken wing, Charlie in the knowing, Charlie in the knowing. I don't understand his second line. <laughs> so congrats to all mothers for surviving another tough year. So at oi. <laughs> Cheers. Don't be a tiger mom and force your kids. I think I think kids have their own future. So no matter which industry you are in, you shouldn't force your kid to be like you. So just guide them whenever they need, find their interests and let them grow. Mm.